Welcome back everybody to RimWorld. Okay, as you can see, my <coughs> game has advanced significantly. I am now in the first of winter. Um, basically, I've got to level with you guys. I'm having a very hard time putting the game down after I record. I think, yeah, I'm going to record a little bit after... A recording session and just to progress the game along a little bit later and I find four to six hours have passed and the game gets to a point where I don't want to go back to a previous save so what I'm gonna do is this series it's not gonna be very linear it's going to be Pretty much more like a check-in series. I, I will come back. We'll, uh, I'll basically let you guys know uh, like stories of what's happened between uh, recording sessions, and like what people have come on and how things have have panned out. And then we'll play for about half an hour, and then we'll get the next episode. Uh, I suppose on, as a heads up. Other things are coming to my channel, and other things are going to drop off. Obviously, pen and paper that would disappeared. RimWorld's not going to be as often during the week. I just had a little bit of bonus f uh, footage last week. I just wanted to get rid of. So, but other things are coming on the channel. So RimWorld's going to just dial back just a little bit. Okay, but I'm not dropping. I'm not dropping the series. RimWorld as a series is going to continue. It's just not going to be as much, and it's going to be different. So, I suppose it's enough from me and my face. Time to actually uh, start playing. Right, as you can see, we are in the first of winter. The last episode, we were at the end of spring. I played through fall. The one thing I'm really getting coming to terms with... Um, Rimworld is the actual seasons themselves. I mean, indoors here, as you can see on the tab here, is a nice uh, 20 odd degrees. Outside, it's like minus 5. I had, uh, during the fall season, I had a cold snap where the temperatures plummeted to minus 25 which forced me to do get a little extreme with uh, production. I had to step up doing hydroponics. I had got my research to a stage where I, I was able to do that. And I actually had to bust out the uh, fuel generators because I was getting points where I had an eclipse happen. I wasn't getting enough power for my solar panels. I've actually installed this power switch too. So if my batteries, my battery bank here gets to the point of being full, I can just turn my uh, solar generators off and not have to worry about them. But at the moment, we uh, winter is coming, winter is here. So the only sources of food right now is my hydroponics crop and anything I hunt. So that is a problem. Now, the I've had one of, I think it was it Ignat. He was an escapee, slave, or what have you, and he come along to the uh, colony. So I rescued him. We had obviously a few pe like people chasing him. So we've got uh, Tico here. Uh, was uh, one of the survivors of that that chase. So. She's currently imprisoned. Okay, uh, what uh, what is people doing? Um, basically holding off on my research just to make sure I'm all my people actually doing things that I need them to do, like getting my hydroponics area all set up. Uh, power wise, we're at fifty percent, more or less. So we're doing all right, especially for winter, but food is a problem. Now, 
I've got cotton plants happening in this one, so hopefully I'll get start getting some materials in so I can actually start doing some like clothes and stuff like that. Uh, potatoes, they don't grow too quick, but it's still variety. Doing strawberries as well, they seem to be growing well. I'm off with the uh, hydroponics area. I'm having to have to have a heater in here just to keep the temperature of the room at a constant. I'm probably not going to need an air conditioner, but if I do, I can actually just knock out this this wall here and uh, cool it down. But I think generally it's not too bad temperature wise here up here in these mountains. But when I have a cold snap and when we basically winter, this is warm compared to the cold snap I was actually <laughs> experiencing. Like one degrees was warm. We had minus twenty five, and that was bad. It was, it was winter, winter bad. So when if we have cold snaps, we have issues. Yeah. Okay, so they are. I might actually switch one of these growing zones over to trees. Uh, oak trees. Growing time thirty days. So that's a. Um, lifespan ninety days. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, let's do oak trees. We might be able to get some planted there. I've also got, basically, I've also got to get my, my main, uh, where are you, my main grower up to a skill of eight, so I can actually start making medicine. I've, been, I've had this low medicine here for way, way, way too long, so that's a focus as well. So that's half the reason why I'm just basically getting all this hydroponic stuff and start starting to uh, use crops that have minimum skills. I might actually try brewing. Uh, let's haul all this stuff out. I might have a brewing room in there. For something different. Um, I'm not sure how alcohol is effective. Uh, minor break risk. What's your problem, man? Ignat, what's your problem? In a little pain by three. Okay. <laughs> uh, you're in a lot of disturbed sleep. Yeah, we've actually got to start doing bedrooms as well. So that's another thing we can now start concentrating on. Because there's that, that room there I can use. In fact, we can actually start doing some orders well, we can basically start doing bedrooms in here i dare say that's five by five why did i no i was actually doing a larger room here for some particular reason i don't remember why it was a good reason i don't <laughs> I don't remember exactly why the reason was I've also knocked out like one of the tables here and just so I can get some extra like movement room. So Ignat is complaining about that. Can I make him another bed? So we'll just put a bed there. Actually, I'm going to start putting some pot plants in. Power wise, I'm not doing too badly. Uh, let me see. I want uh, structures, doors, sticking a wood door there. Doesn't have to be too too fancy. Temperature, uh, what's the temperature in there? Six degrees. It's not too bad. Although what I really should do is actually have a door here to keep the temperature in. So let's have a look at that uh, walls. One thing I did learn is actually just right clicking here, you actually pull up a menu. So we'll just go granite blocks. Actually, no. Cancel that. Architect structure, structure. Yep, it was already there. 
let's put the uh, door there and we have an auto door of we don't have enough steel but granite we can do so hopefully that will start keep start keep, basically keep the temperature in I might try and run without <laughs> some power there so everybody seems to be busy I also walled off this area as well because this my storage slash energy area I was running into little issues with snow <laughs> I mean I thought I had a temperate region I was wrong having cold snaps happen was really really bad in fact I could almost turn off this battery here okay, let's go to this bed we'll set our owner to Ignat there we go and we'll start uh, segregating the peoples give them to give them a little bit of extra space But I'm really enjoying playing this game, especially even just at a slow speed. Just there is enough happening all round to keep me very, very engaged and interested. Although my cleaner isn't doing what he should be doing. Uh, clean, clean, clean. Uh, he's hauling first off and hunting. I don't think I've got, actually got anything up for hunting at the moment. So let's just put the hauling, say, at three and cleaning at two. We'll get, <laughs> get him cleaning. But this is actually quite, <laughs> it's quite nice right now. It's nice and green. Oh yeah, I'm gathering some more, um, what was that? Steel. Definitely going to need that for constructions later. Uh, yep, definitely for the uh, hydropon or the other hydroponic bays. Uh, are we at, oh, we, we can actually start harvesting that. It's probably a little early, but we kind of really, really need the food. And I really, really need it now. Can I harvest that yet? No. So, having rice there, so that's actually been a very, it seems like a very uh, like quick growing crop. It grows at like 230%, which is actually really handy. Also, in this wall, I put a vent in because I thought I might be able to keep the uh, hydroponics room warm enough with the... Uh, the heater here but obviously that wasn't the case right now I'm definitely going to turn that see how this actually works so we're actually gonna grab me oh Sharon's coming where where is Sharon she's gonna flip the switch because I don't want my batteries to blow out. There we go. Cool. Even though it is getting to night time, we may have to like consider looking at another battery bank somewhere. Maybe along here we can think about it. Uh, what is Andy doing? I'm not entirely sure what Andy's doing. <laughs> so we can actually look at a, basically a battery room here. Do a nice square. Why not? So this is about the best I've actually seen my, my power states at the moment, for the time being, anyway. Uh, every, everybody seems to be doing well. I can't quite harvest them yet. Okay, this one, we're actually going to go rice again. 
because we really need that that frozen won't spoil okay awesome so we can just basically keep making meals actually my cook I did actually have someone designated for cooking Uh, looks like it's either Hurdle or Sharon. P pretty much cooking has been shared around. Uh, maybe I should just uh, take Sharon off cooking. Ooh, what's this? Sharon and Andy. Hmm. Getting a little frisky. <laughs> How are we doing on power? Power is currently slowly going down which is not bad actually that's actually pretty damn good the uh, fuel generators here I could slowly uh, turn off uh, what's her needs ugly environment really hmm Maybe I need to put the uh, plants actually near the head. Maybe that's a thing. Oi! Oh, no, don't cut that plant. Cancel. I don't mind harvesting, but don't cut the plant. Alright, let's have a look. What else can we do? Uh, production. There is a brewing table or something. Drug lab. Yep. Uh, is it under joy? No. Billiards table. Uh, let me see. Security, furniture... It's definitely not there. Must be under production. Where are you? Fuel stove, civil research, drug lab, which I actually have in. No, I don't have it installed yet. That's a stone cutters. That's my tailoring. Hmm. I'm sure I had brewing. I don't know. I have to research it. Okay, we'll do that. Now, it does actually having the plants at the end of the bed help with the needs? No. Still an ugly environment. Hmm. Okay, hang on. So that's... What does that do? Daylily. Uh, stats Beauty, 24. Hmm. I think I might have to actually replace where I I put those uh, plants, maybe. Production? No, no, no. Furniture. Actually, no. Hang on. Cancel. Oh, I can't move that. That's a shame. So maybe I should have the, uh, the plants next to the uh, bed heads. I don't know if that's actually going to start making the room crowded. Because that's always a consideration as well. We shall soon see. Uh, maybe I can uh, start working on some floors as well. See, there's, there's a lot of things... That I can do. It's just a matter of time and people, mainly. Uh, and that this would definitely help with the uh, beauty of the place. We'll slowly drift out with uh, granite. I do have do know how to make carpets, but I really don't have the capabilities to do it. How's our power? Just keeping an eye on that. 835. Oh, it's going up. <laughs> That's bad. 
Well, it's actually it's a good way. But we're maintaining. So that's not not too shabby. So me is going to grab some more steel. Okay. Just keep an eye out around the place just in case I might find some something that uh, I don't know. Occasionally you can find a corpse that like a wolf is killed and you can you can actually steal it. I've done that as a tip. Oh, hang on. We'll claim that, absolutely. <laughs> I missed that. That's the other thing too. Definitely go around the map and have a look and see what's around. Because occasionally you can miss some things. Oh. Okay, that's a power... That's a geothermal vent, which... I don't have... Also, I don't know everything that's actually in this this mountain area here until the, such point as I dig it out. I suppose I can actually risk a little bit more speed here, since everything's more or less okay. Yeah, uh, I'm aware of that. I need more from the warm clothes. Or, actually, I can put a... Uh, maybe I will put the billiard table in there. Why not? Uh, I can still do granite tiles. Uh, silver tile, sterile tile. Neutral in terms of looks, but very slow to build. Interesting. Concrete, wood floors... I could do a wood floor. We'll see uh, once we actually start getting some wood together, maybe. But we'll stick with the granite. We are kind of underground. So we'll keep going with that. Hurdle... Uh, why is nobody cooking this is a problem uh, cooking crafting plant cutting is it uh, who is okay hurdle you're gonna go number one so bed rest everybody's gonna get a th bed rest of three doctoring yeah, I think yeah. Now now hurdles back to cooking. Just micromanaging everybody is is difficult enough. Okay, we're training that boom rat. Okay. Who is that boom rap's master? Social was trained. Hmm. Not entirely sure, actually. Social, no relationships. Yeah, it's a bit odd. But we'll just keep pushing on, see how we go. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to pick up that steel I uh, um, basically allowed them to go go get. Okay, the rice is definitely definitely a winner. Like it's padding out my meat. <laughs> So nobody's starving, which is great. Really cool. Eh, 
And uh, yeah, things will just tick along just as they are. I mean, RimWorld is definitely one of those games you can just chill out to. You waste a few hours just watching things run around. Things like will happen out of the blue. And uh, yeah, it's a great game. Really fun. The music's really nice too. Definitely. The music is really nice. So maybe we'll just, uh, I don't know, Architect, Joy. Yeah, let's put a, wow. Okay, I don't have enough cloth stored, but I can just get it in that room. Which I am making cloth. Now. Things are ticking along. I could probably think about maybe... I don't know. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to switch that back on again. Make a, a few more work, um, hydroponic tables, maybe? Uh, whoops. I always try and use, like, a mouse button to... Hopefully I will have enough power to keep that thing going. Oh, okay. Oh, no. No. Oh, there goes my crops. Hang on. We'll pause. Okay. We're just going to harvest everything we can possibly get. Because all that food is going to go go to spoil. Shit. <laughs> uh, actually, maybe this will be a little bit quicker. Harvest. Can't harvest that. Can't harvest that. Ah. Oh. Right. Can I get me to harvest? We'll never do plant cutting. Right. Sorry, people. You're going to have to get up. And get up right now. We need this stuff pulled up and immediately. Hey, 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 hey. No going back to sleep. We need to get all this stuff out. <laughs> Sorry, Calisti. This is this is overtime. You you have to do this. Okay, we'll go back to Sharon. Oh no, that that's it. All the plants are done. Ah. <sighs> That's the only problem with hydroponics. I have a solar flare, it all goes to shit. Damn it. Damn it all. Well, at least I got enough food stocked up. And I was able to, like, rescue some of that food, but... These are the things that happen. These are definitely the things that happen in RimWorld. So, thank you all for joining me. Uh, if you do like the videos and you do like the series so far, just go ahead and click that like button for me. And also, the other thing too, you can, you can promote the uh, videos around the place if that's uh, so possible. If not, um, oh, hang on. Something's happened here. Uh, solar flare is over. Yay, we got the power back. But all oh, my crops are gone. So the next time that we come back to RimWorld, it's probably going to be mo most likely spring, possibly summer. Um, but yeah, I'll continue to play and see where the, uh, the, tri the tribe, the town of Salvation continues. 
So thank you all for joining me. I'll see you next time.